you know, it's so easy to play with your wigs in your house, order a few of them even, get them on, um, you know, just kind of get in front of the mirror and, and just kind of assess the situation. And even if you start feeling okay in them, but it's another thing to open up that door and walk on out into the big bad world with your new hair. And I'm here to tell you, I don't care how scared you are, if you really feel good in that wig, we're gonna get you out there. We're gonna get you outside into the world, whether you go to work, whether you're just, you know, you're, you're gotta get out there. And that is what is going to happen when you're finished watching this video. first thing that you're going to need to do before you can go out into the big bad world is you're going to have to feel good in that wig. You are going to have to feel confident because confidence is the only thing that you need to pull off any wig out there. So you got to have the confidence. How are you going to get that? You got to feel good in that wig. You have to feel like great in your wigs and that happens with this. Secure it. Make sure that baby's not going anywhere, but it has to be comfortable. That's something that took me a little bit of time. I was not going to go outside of this house without feeling like my wig was going to stay on. That's number one. When you figure that out, and there's lots of different options for you there, but when you figure that out, the next thing is how am I going to get this wig to just kind of put it over the top? You know, get it to look even more realistic. That's where things like fill-in powders will help. You know, that'll give your hairline a little something else, just a little bit more. And it's gonna create this shadowing and if the wind blows, it's still gonna look great. So that's another thing. Another thing is, don't be afraid of product. I have had people tell me, Jill, product is ruining your wigs. No, no it is not. I absolutely do not believe that. Products, if you're, if you're wearing synthetic fibers, then yes, get, get products out there for synthetic fibers. If you are experimenting with human hair products on your synthetic wigs, I don't know what to tell you there. I have never been bold and brave enough to do that. What I'm getting at is doing those things will make it feel like more of a part of you. And you have to be convinced of how it looks and how good it looks on you. Because if you're not convinced before you go out that door, nobody else is gonna be either. Because it's all about confidence. And I think the best way to do it is to just not hide it and to try not to feel like you need to make it easier on everyone else because then it makes it easier on you. I think you need to twist that around and make it fun for you and the easiest way for you possible and that is just to announce to people, I have discovered wigs, I'm sick and tired of dealing with my situation and my goodness, they have come so far, I'm so excited. Your excitement is going to completely just go right to them and they're gonna absorb that excitement and be excited for you. And I just recommend just getting it out there. I recommend letting the people that you work with know, you know what, you know, I, I just want you guys to know because I don't want you all to be shocked, you know, when I come in with beautiful hair. But I have decided that I am going to wear wigs and I, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm a little nervous, you know, and I just want you guys to know because I think it's going to be easier on me if you guys know um, that I'm going to be starting to wear wigs and I'm going to have different styles, maybe different colors. And I, I'm just really pumped and excited about it. You approach it like that and you're going to make your journey so much easier.
because you have decided to spin this in your life. You have decided not to let it get you down. You've decided that you aren't going to go on like this because it's and uh, it makes you feel bad or for whatever the reason you have decided to spin this to a positive and get your hands on some really pretty hair and that my friend is a huge step and says a lot about the kind of person that you are that you're not going to let this take you down and you've decided to go ahead watch some youtube videos about you know wigs toppers whatever it is that you're kind of toying with and bravo to you because that is a proactive person and good for you so you've decided to do this now it's time to let the world know and i just think that's the easiest way to do it Okay, step one, let's break this down to actual manageable steps. I can talk until I'm blue in my face, but we are going to get you to get out that door. Check off the boxes. Did you find a wig that you like? Um, did you get it so, what, so you've decided to secure it with either say one of these uh, little headband things, uh, wig grips, and you're feeling good about that, tightening up the back, and it feels pretty great, because if you're one of those people, hmm, man, I envy you, uh, that you can just maybe do a little adjustment with those straps, and it feels great and secure on your head, and you're good to go out the door. Um, whatever, the, whatever it is, need a little it stays, some wig tape back there, make sure that not only do you feel like that baby is not coming off, but it has to feel comfortable too because in the beginning I kind of disregarded that I just wanted that baby to be secure and I ignored whether or not it was comfortable on me because you can only go on for that I mean you can only go on like that for so long before all of a sudden you just cannot deal with this wig thing anymore because it's not comfortable and it's irritating and if you're a hypersensitive person like I am I would tell you that doesn't fly for very long you can put up with it but mm. so it has to be comfortable and you'll get to know kind of what that comfortable is the more you wear wigs because in the beginning you're not going to know you're just not going to know how it's supposed to feel so i recommend never stop um, trying new things never stop trying new wig features never stop trying new ways to secure a wig because you're never going to know what each one could feel like until you start experimenting so i have that little bit of advice advice for you but step one, you guys, is get out the door. You got, you checked off the boxes. It feels great, looks good. You did whatever. You have a square band in there and you feel good. And you've worn it like that in the house. And you're like, okay, all right, okay. All right, it's time to get out. The very first thing I did, I know this is silly, but it got me to open up my door and walk over and out the threshold. And that is because I had the same, I had the same worries as you guys. Um, I walked across our little road and checked the mailbox. Came back in the house, shut the door. That was my first outing. But you know what? A car drove by before I walked across the road and I thought, oh God, I don't, you know, like, oh, oh God, there's so many. And got my mail and then came back in. Like what? Those people are, you know, looking at me like, my God, that woman has a wig on. No. No, that is not what happens. But in your head, that's what you think. You feel like when you go out in public that every single frickin' person out there is looking at you, looking to see if you have a wig on, you know? Mm. They're talking to you, feel like they're talking to you, but they're looking. They're looking at you, talking to you and looking like she's wearing a wig. No, you guys, it just does not happen. It doesn't happen. I find myself watching movies and I'll be looking really close and oh my God, she's got a topper on. You know, I do that. Us wig wearers will do that. But the, everyone else, no. I'm telling you, you guys, unless you are wearing a $3.99 wig and it's just a piece of crap, I have to tell you, these wigs these days, 
And I don't mean that in a bad way. Literally, there are wigs out there that do cost $3.99 and they look like pieces of crap. Okay, there's your exception. There are very reasonable wigs out there, you guys, that look very good. I'm saying that if you get a nice wig, okay, for instance, the Ignite is a John Renault, gorgeous designer, beautiful wig. That wig, when I get it 30% off, I never pay more than I need to. I always wait for a 30% off sale, always. Never pay a full price for a wig, I never do. So I have my wig sites that I go to and I'll put those down in the description box, but I just hang out and I wait for a 30% off. When one happens, you can guarantee you, it kind of becomes a little wig kind of like war thing and it's like oh they've got it we gotta have a 30 percent off it happens often but so 30 percent off my john renault wigs i think it runs around 116 17 dollars that is a gorgeous wig and that's 116 17 dollars so yes i do say spring for the best you can get and if you do that your wigs gonna look great nobody is going to think you're wearing a wig nobody's going to be looking you know, the grocery store checkout person, the people that you go and bank with, the, you know, people that you go and whatever it is that you know, they're not going to be looking. They don't know you generally and they don't have a clue. Now, the people that you see often, for instance, I go and buy dog food all the time at this granary place. They will see me in many different styles. I don't even know if they recognize, I'm sure they do, but I don't even know what they're thinking. You know, like, oh, she's gotta be wearing, you know, at some point they're gonna be going, okay, she's wearing something because she can't have any that sort of a wig and then, I mean, hair and then come in like this. Um, you know, and then you can decide, you know, sometimes I'll do mental notes and I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna wear something sort of similar you know, if you just have one of those days where you don't feel like you have the whatever to want to pull off going from Ignite to this in that particular business, whatever, that's your choice. I have days like that, I do. You know, it's like, okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna stick to something like that then. It just makes me feel better. That's fine, but don't let that get you too much because then it becomes anxiety and then there's that fine line. So that's your very first step. I want you to open up the door, go across, check your mail okay if you have one of those mailboxes that you can go go check your mail if you don't have one of those boxes i still want you to open up the front door walk at least 30 yards okay whether it's one way out your door or to the other or across the street turn around come back you've made it out the door you can say i made it out the door with the wig on i'm telling you that is going to just blow it all open and pretty soon you're ready to do the next step step number two do something that requires a drive-through okay i don't recommend fast food but that actually was my second errand i decided i'm going to go through a drive-through I did it on purpose. I didn't have to get out of my car. All I had to do was look at the person, get whatever it is I ordered, and off I went. And then I went home. That was my number two. That's your number two. I want you to go through a drive-through. Whether it's Starbucks, I don't want to recommend fast food, or the bank, something. Go through the drive-through. Step number two, okay? Now, you're gonna be checking back in. You are, just wait. Step three, I want you to go do something that requires you to go in a building, but you don't have to say hi to anyone, okay? You don't have to talk to people. You're gonna go in and you're gonna come out and you're gonna go home, okay? That is your step three. You're gonna do all this before you decide to go to work, okay? These are things you're gonna do on your days off for your very first wig outings, okay? Step number three is that. So what I did is I went to the post office. I'm always going to the post office because I have to send out orders from you lovely people that order skincare from me. So I go to the post office a lot. So I decided, okay, I did my drive through thing. I didn't do this all in one day, you guys. Okay, that's just too much. So my next outing with my wigs, my wig, because at that time I had one, 
got that baby on got it looking okay it's like okay I was nervous I'm gonna get out of my car this time outside into the world and with my wig so I did I parked I had to walk to the post office people cars to the post office not that far from my car and through the door people in people in mailed my package I didn't have to stand in a line they have one of those things put my package in there did my you know when Harry met Sally look make sure that it goes in I do that and then smiled at people because I do like to do that you know and whatever go out the door help somebody out and then went to my car got in oh, okay I managed to do that went home by now I'm feeling I'm feeling better you know one of the biggest caveats is that a word okay for me was having my kids see my hair um, but I pulled a little joke on them and so it all was funny and it was very much something I would do so I, I ended up making it more of a game and a silly thing and my girls were like oh my god that's so great and my son was mortified but he had to get over it but he was mortified <laughs> anyway so I turned that into more of a fun thing for me but um, so that is your step number three okay so where are those places around where you live do you have a post office can you just go in like I don't want you to on step three necessarily to stand in a checkout line you know because then you're gonna be face to face with somebody you might have to do some small talk I'm telling you this is how I did it so think of places that you can go that you need to go do an errand but you can come right back out Okay, step number four. Step number four is going to be where you are actually going to go grocery shopping with your wigs on, with one wig, okay? So go do that. This is the big day. You're gonna get out there. You're gonna be out in doing some grocery shopping. You're probably gonna be there for what? 40 minutes in the grocery store, you know, doing a little bit and um, just have fun. And you know, do your thing feel good I'm telling you how you carry yourself it's all about confidence how you carry yourself is so important you know I always like to look people in the eye anyway give them a smile um, and you know other times I just you know just like in my zone picking out my apples whatever it's not like I'm engaging with people everywhere I go no no but you know but feel good feel just this is great normal natural it is nobody's looking at you I'm guaranteeing you nobody is looking at you nobody is trying to figure out if you have fake hair on it's not happening it is just not happening people don't care people don't have time not happening so if somebody because this will probably happen to you eventually if somebody says oh my god I love your hair now it's up to you you can say thank you thank you so much and be on your way or you can say thanks it's a win and they're gonna go oh my god I didn't know and you can just decide based on your mood that day what you want to do and where you are and what's appropriate and all of that then you're gonna stand in line check out small talk yada yada and that is that now you can do anything you can do anything now for work I recommend definitely announcing it I do that is just my advice I recommend announcing it let the people that you see all the time at work know and bada bing bada boom you're gonna be nervous you're gonna walk through that door for the first time with hair on your head but you've been to the post office you've been grocery shopping you may have even gotten some good feedback from people now you got to get brave and let people know at work and show up with that wig on now I'm not gonna pretend that every day following going to work with that wig or maybe a little bit different wig or a completely different style and color is gonna be easier right away every day you're gonna be a little nervous you have a little bit of anxiety before you go through those doors oh my god does this one look okay but wear your smile shoulders back head up feel good smile you know if it makes it easier it makes it easier for me if I actually I'm more worried about other people this is 
helps me. So I want to put everybody else at ease. So the minute I'm with that other person, maybe they're sitting across the desk from me or whatever, you can sit down and go, what do you think about this one? You know, that way the ice is broken. What do you think about the color? You know, I was kind of reluctant to order this one. Oh my God. You know, and that way you've started the conversation. The elephant is out of the box and ready to go. I am going to have a follow up soon. And in that follow up, I want those of you that are watching to let me know which step you're on because you want them to happen pretty quick. I don't want you guys to go across the street, walk 30 yards, come back in and a month later not do anything else. No, I would like this all to happen really within a week, you know, that's the goal. So maybe every day do a step and there's four steps until you're ready to then announce it to your workplace and let them know this is what's happening. Announce it to your family, to your friends, and to your coworkers, okay, once you get past step four. But I'm doing a, a follow-up. I want y'all to check in with me on this video down below and say, Jill, I am going to do these steps. I will check in with you. Okay, because the next video that I'm going to be uploading is going to be the check-in video and I am going to talk about a few other things, a little bit more of a pep talk, keep the ball rolling because you guys, it is so fun being a wig wearer, wear toppers, mix it up between toppers and wigs even because once you get past that, then it really is a matter of just kind of embracing the fact that you're going to have a great hair day every time you stick one of those on your head and it's fun. I find myself, you know, like watching a movie or something and going, oh my gosh, I love that hair. Well, in the past, I could never have hair like that and I envied those hair people, you know, it's like, oh my God, I love that style. I wonder if I could wear that style. I probably couldn't get it cut like that. My hair would never do that. Now I find myself doing that and I'm going, oh, wait a minute. I actually have a wig like that. I can have that hair. You know, it's little things like that. It's, it's pretty awesome. Okay, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Let me know down below if you are going to go on this four step journey with us because we are gonna do this. You're gonna do this. You owe it to yourself. You've made it this far. So by golly, let's do this, okay? So sound off down below. Meet me up here the next time we have this here. I'm gonna give you guys a couple weeks to get on board with this, and then I'm gonna do my follow-up, and um, you're gonna sound off down below how far you got in those four steps, a little bit of your experience, and it's going to share your experiences. I want the rest of you to engage in everyone else's so you can read each other's, and uh, that's what we're doing here. So, okay, let's get proactive. I believe in you. Until next time, bye-bye, guys. <laughs>